What's up, everybody? Thanks for stopping by. I am Pickle, and if you pay attention to the banner art on my channel, you will notice that there is something on Friday called Free For All. That just means whatever the hell I want to do, and this week we're going to do, we're going to have, as you can see here, we're going to have a discussion, okay? What this is going to be is this is going to be a discussion, and I have the definition up here just so that you understand the difference between a discussion, an argument, and a debate, okay? Just making sure that we have this perfectly clear from the beginning. A discussion, the action or process of talking about something typically in order to reach a decision or to exchange ideas. These are the three key words, to exchange ideas, okay? This is not a debate to argue about a subject in a formal manner, no. That's not what we're doing. And we're not going to go to the low end and, and have it be an argument. That's not going to happen. We are not going to have an exchange of diverging or opposing views, typically a heated or angry one. We're going to have a discussion to exchange ideas. This means that I may be wrong. I may be right. You may be wrong and you may be right. However, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we just kind of clear the air and make sure that that's what it is. There will be no argumentative things tolerated. There will be no, well, according to, blah, 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 that's more debatable shit. But if you have some true factual evidence to bring up, then bring it up. But what we're going to talk about this time is we're going to talk about the difference between an acquaintance and a friend. And more importantly, how you view those people that are in your life that you may call a friend, but may not actually be one. Now, these definitions say a person one knows slightly, but who is not a close friend. And a friend is defined as a person whom one knows and with whom one has a bond of mutual affection, typically exclusive of sexual or family relation. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to make sure that everyone understands the differences between an acquaintance and a friend. So my view is an acquaintance is someone that you'll talk to occasionally that you may go hang out with. Maybe you'll go to lunch and just kind of bullshit about, but that's really about as far as an acquaintance goes. A friend is someone that if you needed help with someone, you could pick up the phone and go, Hey, I need a hand with this, even if it's just to talk. Now, that being said, usually with an acquaintance, my opinion is that it's more selfish in nature because I want to just spend time with this person just so that I'm not alone. But a friend is someone you would hang out with, like you would literally sit in the same room one of you on one side of the room in a chair, the other one on a couch on the other side. TV's not on. You're not doing anything except just sitting there. And maybe you'll have a thought and you'll blurt it out. An acquaintance, you'll probably have a filter. With a friend, you probably won't because you're going to trust them. But the thing is, friendship and any relationship, for that matter, is a two-way street. If you find that you are giving more than you are getting in a relationship, you are the one that is taking that relationship serious. The other person is just taking. You see what, see what I'm saying here? If you have a situation where you've tried reaching out and someone knows they can count on you for something, if they if if someone knows if someone knows that they can call you up and you will help them out they know you are their friend for the most part however if you don't feel you can do the same with that person you are actually just an acquaintance because there is a line to where you do have to have between you and the other person a bond that actually gets you to the point where you're not feeling like you're taking advantage of them and you're not feeling like you're a burden to them. There is a big difference. I do want to make sure that you guys are, are paying attention to the people that are in your life. Are they helping you out? Are they enriching your life? Are they doing for you as much as you do for them and vice versa? Are you helping out where you can? If they call up and, Hey, can you help? Uh, you know, anything. Like I once drove 10 hours to Michigan and I proceeded to spend two days weed whacking an entire yard. Do you know anyone else will do that? That wasn't my sole purpose of going up there. But while I was there, I, I was like, 
I'm bored. They're at work. I can do something to help out. So I went out into the shed and I found the weed whacker and I figured out how to get it running. And the carpal tunnel that I have got activated so bad. I couldn't move my hand more than this for two days. And I was just from holding the, the weed whacker and holding it still. I, I really doing this hurt because it had just so much vibration just really kind of wrecked my arm but i did it has that person come to to me have they drove in 10 hours to see me no not once not one time they thought about it plenty and we're going to do something about it plenty but never actually did so that was another person taking from me when I was giving to them because I viewed them as a good friend. I viewed them as someone who was actually helping to enrich my life. And I wanted to make sure that I was taking care of that. It's just like everything you have. You There's maintenance on every relationship, not just your intimate ones. There's maintenance on all of them. And if people mean something to you, you will do that maintenance. If not, then be honest with yourself. And if you're taking from them... Stop. Let them go. And if they're and if they're taking from you, stop. Let them go. I mean, it's it's as simple as that. We have to take care of each other. We have to take care of ourselves. And the first step is making sure that you're evaluating the people around you. You know, they always tell you to surround yourself with people that are successful or that are aiming for success because then that in turn will make you successful. Well, it's just like if you're around someone who's brooding and, and taking from people all the time. Next thing you know, you're going to be brooding in a mooch. The way that you got to kind of look at things, you got to kind of reevaluate. You always got to look in a mirror before you look at someone else in the face. Anyway, that's all I got this time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hit that thumbs up button. Anything that you want to add, anything that kind of hit you as being profound or anything that you have a story about someone that, that you had in your life that was kind of a piece of shit and you took steps to get rid of them. It takes weight off your shoulder and you feel better because their negativity and bullshit is not weighing you down. You can do it. And you know, any share, any sharing you want to do, any stories you want to do, I want to hear them. So plug that down in the comments below. And until I see you guys in another video, I'm Pickle and I'm out.